I've had the Omtech 30 watt Mopa laser for a couple months now and it's time to give you guys a closer look. My name's Jim and this is the Edge of Tech. If you remember my unboxing video, I was crazy excited to get this laser. Omtech sent this over to me as a loaner unit so I could learn and make some videos. And I tell you what, I've been learning a ton. So today I want to give you a first look at this laser and show you some features of it. Let's do it. The main tower contains the brains of the operation, the main board and a JPT 30 watt solid state laser. And I gotta tell you, I absolutely love the red color on this thing. I just, I don't know why, I just love it. On the back of the unit, it has all the connections you need to run this laser. It has the USB ports, the protective cover connection, which I'm not exactly sure what that is, the foot pedal connection, the rotary access, and the power connector. The power connector is really cool. It actually screws in so it can't just pull itself back out. It also has a ground cable, and as you can see, I'm not currently using it. On the front of the machine, we have that emergency stop button. So if you ever need to shut this thing down right away, you just press that in. We also have the key switch, which turns the laser on, and the button to power the laser head. So you have to press that button for the galvo mirrors to actually move when you're firing the laser. Now if we move over to the laser platform, it's made out of aluminum and it has a ton of threaded holes for holds downs and jigs. So you basically just drop your hold down on and screw it right down to this plate. That way nothing moves when you're trying to burn it. Speaking of hold downs and jigs, if you're looking to have any CNC'd or maybe even 3D printed with some super strong material, check out PCBWay. They have top of the line PCBs and state of the art CNC and 3D printing services. Couple that with a super user friendly website and really fast shipping and your hold downs and jigs will be sent to your house in no time. So check out PCBWay using the link in the description below. And as always, thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. The upright on the machine is fully adjustable and it uses the handle at the top to move itself up and down to get that perfect focus on your project you're working on. The Sino or Sino Galvo head contains the mirrors inside that move the laser beam all around. And it can do that at up to 7,000 millimeters a second. That's absolutely crazy. The lens that came with the 30 watt Mopa that I got was 175 millimeters. That gives you about a six by nine by six by nine work area to burn on, but that can actually be changed by purchasing different lenses and putting different lenses on the laser. Uh, there are a ton of different lenses you can get and I have not even dove into that world yet, so stay tuned. Another cool thing about this laser is the red dot guidance that can help you focus this thing very quickly. To be fair, I haven't used it. I made a focal stick uh, per some instructional videos that I had, so I'm not sure if this thing is exactly on or not. And also it has a laser inside that shines down through the galvo, which shows whatever you're gonna burn on the material you're gonna burn it, so you can actually line it up really good just like this. Hey, real quick, if you like this video, smash that like button. And if you wanna see more videos about 3D printing, CNC, and lasers, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I'm on my way to 100,000 subscribers and I'd love for you to be one of them. Now back to it. So there really is a ton packed into this laser and I've been learning a lot. So I've been testing things like aluminum business cards, stainless steel dog tags, and even straight steel. But my favorite thing so far has been challenge coins. It takes a lot longer to do, but man, are they satisfying. I have to throw a huge shout out to Jay Mack, who has been helping me dial in coins and, and teaching me how to do it in general. There is so much to learn about these and Jay Mack has been an awesome resource for me to go to. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Jay Mack. I really appreciate it. So that's a quick first look on the Omtech 30 watt fiber laser, the Mopa laser from Omtech. I'm gonna have many more videos coming on this thing. I'm hoping to do a bunch of project videos, which should be a lot lot of fun. And if you want to check this thing out, use my link in the description below to save yourself some more money. I know this thing is on sale at the time of filming, like $600 off, but you can save more by using my link in the description below as well. Let me know in the comments what you would use a fiber or MOPA laser for. And if you want to see the unboxing of this video, I'm telling you it was epic. Check this video out right here.